What's good, Tanania family? I just want to welcome you back to another sit down with Miss B. Let's go! But you know what guys, welcome back and what a better time to do it, especially going through the pandemic of uh, the coronavirus and everything else that's been going on. But hey, can I just do a, a quick cheers to the Easter break? And tomorrow we go back to the reality, which is doing the same thing we did yesterday and the day before and the day before. So welcome back, guys, and we hope that you've enjoyed your break because we have. Have you, Mum? Yes, I did. So just to let you know, my mum is our special guest uh, for Sit Down with Miss B. And the reason why we've done with my mum is because we are spending so much time together as a family. Now, you've seen Doofs. You've seen Diamond and Sapphires, you've seen them, but you hardly get to see this beautiful lady. And this is my mum, and my mum lives with our family here, and she is also part of the Tanania family, so she's the mama, mama, mama bear. I'm the mama bear, but she's the mama, mama, mama bear. So, yeah, just welcome mum. Thank you for taking part in um, Sit Down with Miss B. Oh, you're still holding it. We haven't had a sip yet. Okay, wait, 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 yeah. Have a sippy. What I'm doing today is pretty much going to pamper mum, our greys that are coming through. Poor mum, she's grey, likes to look very young, so we like to dye her hair, and she likes to dye her hair, don't you mum? Yes I do. And just go natural? Yes I will. When? When I become 80 years old. <laughs> <laughs> How's everyone been? For those that are new here to the Tanania family, to Miss Bees, I want to welcome you, and for those that have tuned in quite regularly, Welcome back and thank you for supporting. So as you know guys, I'm going to do mum. Her roots are pretty much like a tobacco brown. We don't want to go too brown. We don't like to go too dark. We like to be quite light. I like light hair. I just think dark hair can be too boring, eh mum? Yes. What don't you like about going too dark? The reason why I don't like to um, look too dark, yeah. it's because it makes me look dark too. Oh. But darker hair is meant to make you look lighter. No, I, I find that <laughs> my, my, my hair dark makes me look darker. Oh, okay. I like it because I think it just adds a little bit of life to my skin colour. Yeah. So everyone's quite hair. different like yeah. that. My mum and dad uh, have lived with Duper and I for a while, actually, ever since they've come to Perth, made Perth home. And uh, we love having mum and dad. We also have the less children out of all my siblings. Not long ago, about three years ago, we actually lost Dad, um, which is always a very sad thing when you lose one of your parents. And we've still got Mum with us, so... I don't know about you, but our Mum's amazing. She really does help us out with a lot of things. She's very physical, although she's... How old are you, Mum? I'm 72 years old. So she's 72 years old, still very mobile, and... She's a great help to the family, likes to do things, doesn't really like to sit around and do nothing. Mum, while I'm just dyeing your hair, I haven't even told you what we're going to do. Okay. So I'm just going to fire you some questions. Okay guys, so starting off with my mum's roots. Mum, I just wanted to ask you a question. Yes? What's something that you would have done differently as a mum? I would spend uh, more of my time with my grandchildren right do you don't feel like you spend a lot of time with your grandchildren sometimes when they go to school I, I, I was just by, at home by myself just um, think of this time as my as I lost my husband well I find that I used to have that at home but now I'm just by myself at home mm. while my grandchildren gone to school and I find that it's getting up a little bit bored and I get lonely 
Yeah. So that's with your grandkids. What's something that you would have done differently with us kids? Give them a little bit of spanking. And when they answer me back, that makes me really angry. Mm. So what? So I had have... to smack them. Yeah. Learn how to listen. Okay. And yeah. is that how you feel you could have been a better parent? Yes. What did you choose to be with my dad? Because he was so humble. The way he treats me, and he was very humble. Mm. He's a very humble man. And I can see that he, he really loves me. For those that don't have their fathers with them, it's always really good to, you know, you sit down with your parents or your mum and all the stories they got up to and, you know, the, the highlights of their marriage. And that's really nice to hear, mum. So that was probably a quality that you loved of dad's, his humbleness. Was there anything else? And he loved you as well. Was there anything else? He's that kind of man that he loves to to help when he saw me that i'm busy with doing something then he will ask me what do you want me to do okay so he's not a lazy ass thank god for that because <laughs> i wouldn't be able to handle that either so it's good to know when your dad or your partner even is a helping hand i think mm, that's yes, really really yeah. important he does the washing yeah he does the ironing yeah even in the kitchen he helped out um washing the dishes he loves to to make the my grandkids go by. Yeah, he yeah, does. And uh, and cook all that stuff. Yeah. In what ways do you think we're similar? It's the way we you talk, the way that you doing helping out the kids with the cooking. And uh, do you think I'm a lot like you when? Yes, and cleaning. Yeah. You don't want a messy Maybe. house. And, yeah. 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 Like we were talking and then sometimes you ask me a question and then I answer and you say, Mum, no. And sometimes when I say something and you don't agree, straight away you correct me. Do you think so, we're similar like that? Yes. Who do you correct? Well, sometimes I say to you that that is not right. All right guys, we're just getting on to the back of Mum's head. That's why I'm in the back here. We do spend a lot of time together, Emma. Yes. Now, we have no choice because of the coronavirus. Mm. But you guys, are you guys spending a lot of time with your parents at this time? I know there's quite a lot of sad stories where grandparents can't be with their grandchildren mm. and they're having to video call and it just breaks my heart. Mm. I had one of my friends, Marie, saying that she had to video call her grandchildren and her grandchildren were like, Nanny, just come around and pick me up. Yeah, another question. What one of us kids do you like the best? I, I, and be honest. Well, it's okay. No, no well, hard feelings taken, Mum. Well, sometimes I think that I am not doing the right thing uh, of not of favouring some and and not favouring um, uh, others. So um, it is a lesson for me that I shouldn't be uh, having any favoritism <laughs> but as I've been I, I've been so, getting so close to them all the time yeah mm. I know but mm. it's a simple question mum mm. which out of your children is the best these are just some of the questions that have come through from some of the audience mm. well I find that um and, and be honest mum it's okay yeah. because every time me and my sister get together Lance mm. okay yeah we always say mum and her sons, mm. right? And with dad, it was dad and his yes. girls. Yeah, well. I'm sure there are people out there that can relate. Mm. Duba and the way he is with our girls, that was that, that was me and Lani. You know, and I'm sure if I had a, a boy, mm. he would be definitely be mummy's mummy's boy. But that's okay, mum. Mm, well, you can I can say find, boys. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. Well, I I find that um. I can see that uh, with my girls, I can they see spend, they spend, their dad spoiled them, and he, uh, he. I'm talking about you though. Me? Yes. Uh, yeah. Well, I find that I'm closer to my boys. There you yeah. go. Hallelujah, Jesus. <laughs> she just agreed with me. <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you. That's what I was waiting for. And like I said to her in the beginning, you can speak the truth. I'm not going to get angry. Your hair's going to be blue. <laughs> <laughs> you can honestly tell when you see mums and their sons how they just make their mum. She just is weak because there's so much love that you see. And you know what? I love that. I love, love seeing that. Last but not least, Mum, because we now finished Mum's hairs. A deep question. Yes. And I really want you to think about it. Is there anything you have always wanted to tell me but you never have? I just want to, to let my daughter know down deep in my heart as I can see that the way she's looking after me at home and while uh, her father's alive and, and now the father's gone and, and she's getting really sad and I'm sad. Thank you so much, Brenda, for looking after me and I love you so much for all the time that you're spending with me and especially when I feel so sad and you always come and say, Mom, Mom, come on, let's cheer up. And even I love my granddaughters as well. Even I love uh, Dova. He is just a, like uh, a son to me. The way he treats me is so um, loving and caring. And I think that Brenda and her husband, they are the same, the way how they treat and look after me. And that's all I have to say. Oh, well, I wasn't expecting such a, a touching answer like that, but I guess at the end of the day, I'm the same too, Mum. And, you know, I just want to thank you for being an amazing mum and for everything that you've done. And I love you. I love you too. And, um... I just, uh, just want to say something to my daughter. If there's something that I've done wrong or that you uh, did disagree with me or you didn't even like me, well, just forgive me. But I was down deep in my heart. I love you and with all my grandchildren and my children, with their husband and their wives. Thank you, Mum. Okay, so we better cheer it up a little bit because um, I guess this is what the sit down with Miss Bees is all about. I usually touch on very taboo subjects or, you know, things that we don't really voice or you know talk about in front of the camera and I know for some it's actually quite hard to to answer like that especially when you're going live but hey it, it's it's a beautiful thing to know mum and, and you know what let this be a lesson to those that have one parent or whose parents may be ill or whose parents may be in a dark place and really need you. You don't have them for long. No. And we've lost Dad we, unexpectedly. Like, who would have ever thought that? We didn't, eh? No. Did. But for what we have left on Earth today, let's enjoy every day like it's your last. Yes. Always have fun with your mum. Don't, don't get me wrong. Me and my mum butt heads we can butt heads, I yes. think, because we're very similar. But at the end of the day, Mum, there's always a lot of love. Yes. Love for you, and I love you. I love you. And... Okay, guys! Oh. Mwah. We better go. Hey, guys, if it's touched anyone out there, we just want to say, you know what? Keep on doing what you're doing. Keep on loving your loved ones. Keep on loving your parents. And your father and your mother. Honour your father and your mother so that the thy days may be longer. We've touched your heart out there, man. Look forward to my sit downs every Tuesday. Now, look, all the eyeliner's just smudged, but if you're new here today and you want to hear more of Sit Down With Miss Bees,
And thank you so much for checking in. See you later, Tanania family.